Welcome back to episode three on our Subaru budget build. And today we talk about wheels, tires, and everything that goes along with that. Let's get started. Now that we have the Subaru budget build lifted, we have all the room we need to put some wheels and tires underneath it. Before I go into what I picked, let me go through some of the criteria that I needed. Um, since this is a budget build, I needed a tire that was price conscious. Since I'm commuting, I needed the tire to be quiet on the freeways. Um, since I am going to be going on trails, I still needed it to be uh, ideally an all-terrain or very close to it. And um, weight. Weight's also a big factor of it. One of the main reasons I love the Subaru is because it gets great gas mileage and putting heavy 10-ply Kevlar tires and adding all of that rotational weight um, is a factor in your miles per gallon. The winner ended up being these Falcon Wild Peak Trails in the all-terrain fashion. Let me go through and make sure I'm reading everything right. Yep, Falcon Wild Peak Trails, which is their, um, which is their crossover light SUV all-terrain. If you look at the tread pattern, it is beefy. It is not a full, I wouldn't consider this a full all-terrain. I've had Jeeps previously where I ran mud terrains and all-terrains and, and I wouldn't consider this a full all-terrain, but um, the Wild Peaks are in that category. Um, so why did I pick these? These came highly recommended for the Subarus and really like the crossover like genre of, of tires. These are about 10 pounds lighter than the light truck version of these, which I think called like the Wild Peak AT3s, the full all-terrain, they're about 10 pounds lighter than that. So with these tires, you should be able to preserve a lot of your gas mileage, you should be able to keep your noise uh, level down, and still offer a lot of the performance that you're after. Now, they won't be as good as the full AT3s, but again, this is that, um, have my pie and eat it too type of vehicle where I want good gas mileage, good traction, but no noise. Like there has to be a little bit of give. The appearance of the tire is not overly all terrain -y. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but it's not overly uh, trucky. So when I put it on the Subaru, it looks, you know, just a little bit beefier, just a smidgen beefier. And that's one of the things I really enjoyed about it. Uh, the KO2s on Subarus uh, look slightly out of place. They look like I'm, uh, I'm going to dinner in hiking shoes. And these look more like, I don't know, like cross trainers. So if that analogy made sense to you, thank you for sticking along with that. So let me give you some facts compared to the stock tire. The stock tire that came off of these, off of my premium wheels, were the 18 inch. So they were the 225, 60, 18. What we put on is the biggest, with the internet and the Subaru Outback forums recommended, which is the 245-65-17s. Okay, I know if you're not familiar with tire sizes, let me break it down what those tire sizes mean. The R18 and the R17 mean uh, means that that's the rim size that I want. That's the rim size. So the stock ones had 18 inch rims and the new ones have 17. Let me take a stop there and talk about this rim. These rims came off of the Subaru WRX. If they look familiar to you, it's because you've seen them on the freeway all the time. They're off of the WRX. Um, the reason I picked these is because I wanted more of that stock look. And the 17 inch wheels that came off of the Outbacks don't look good to me. I don't want those huge spokes. I wanted a black clean rim and I absolutely love these. They're a little bit wider as well. They are eight inches wide compared to the Subaru Outback 7 inch wide ones. So, going from an, if you're gonna go to down to an R17 or 17 inch rim, go for these WRX. They look fantastic. Also, I got them cheap. I got them on offer up. I think I paid $80 for all. I paid $80 for the set of fours. They are used, there's some road rash on them, but overall they look good. Uh, I'm gonna put more road rash on them when I go off roading, so I don't mind, about, I don't mind that at all. 80 bucks gets me eight, four rims, and the tires uh, look really great on these rims. So, WRX rims, they're wider, they're lighter, which is a big factor of this, they're lighter, and they look great in black. So on our list, that's the 17. We went with the WRX wheels, which I love. Height-wise, 
we went from a 28.6 inch diameter tire to a 29.5 so these are almost 30 inch tall so 29 and a half that extra height will allow you to go over obstacles easier um, off-roading and at 29 and a half you're pretty much at a full SUV tire with the stock width was 8.9 inches and now we're up to 9.6 so a lot more width on the road and a lot more traction which is huge now going to a bigger size does have negatives we gained about 10 pounds each wheel when it comes to rotational mass 10 pounds is a lot but the fact that we lost two pounds on the rim and we gained 12 pounds on the tire we kind of negated some of the weight with the rims so 10 pounds plus the price on these i got really lucky with they ended up being about 117 per tire uh, they normally range in the 120s but it was one of those like combo deals where you buy a fourth tire you get a little bit of savings so america's tire company really um, pulled some strings together they matched my walmart prices they gave me like a discount for buying all four tires. I think they gave me like um, a big discount of mounting in and all of that stuff. So my total out the door price was $468 for all four tires. Isn't that like a killer deal? So that really helps us with our budget build. We're at 468 for the tires and I am absolutely happy with that um, price combination. So 468 gets me a tire on the rim. So that's the wheels and tires. The only thing left is to put these on the Subaru. Check out how tight that is. So the wheels are now on the ground and we are just enough on this strut to tire. So that's perfect. I have a finger's worth in there and um, we're all right. A big test is to see if we rub at full lock. So let me turn this wheel and let's take a look at this. So this is full left hand down. We'll take a look at our spacing around here. We go full lock. We are good up here. And back here, um, still get my hand through here. So we're good on left hand down. We're good up here. Pretty good clearance. Let's go other way. Take a look at that rubs. Looks like we're okay. Let's see, maybe this corner is a bit tight. You know? Oh, that's got clearance right there. Can you see that? Yeah. That's that's got clearance. It's tight, but that's. Let me get my flashlight there, you see? That's okay. Hey guys, hey, success! Our, uh, our tires fit. So that's it. Our, our wheels and tires are mounted. They don't rub. Um, and uh, I'll go through how they perform on another episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of our super budget build with our wheels and tires. In the next episode, we'll do some work on the outside of the vehicle to make it look a little bit nicer and trail ready. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good night.